Um, my name is Omari Banks. I'm from the island of Anguilla. Um, it's an island that's 35 square miles. Um, popula population of roughly about 13,000 people. Um, I'm a former international sportsman. Um, the sport I played was a sport called cricket. I'm the son of um, reggae um, legend of Anguilla in Eastern Caribbean, a gentleman by the name of Banky Banks. Um, I've been around music my entire life from a child. Um, grew up, um, started to play sport professionally at 18, played professionally for 11 years and retired four years ago to pursue one of my other passions which is music. Um, music was something that was around all the time. Um, cricket was something which I, I fell in love with um, when I got to the age of seven, eight years old. And I got to a point after playing professionally for 11 years that I said, hey, it's time to move on to something that um, I felt a passion for, a burning desire to, to pursue while I was playing the sport in my last couple of um, last public, last couple of years. And I wanted to follow that. I'm the kind of person that believes that you always should follow your passions. And music was something that um, was burning inside me to pursue in my last, definitely my last months of playing sport. Um, after I retired from sport, I said, okay then, um, I, there was a period where I said I would have to go and although I had played music my entire life, but I had to take it more seriously. I had to go to a preparation period of um, practicing on my guitar, start to sing a lot more, um, start to work with other um, musicians. And I started to record music probably, probably about seven, eight months after. My dad was coincidentally in the studio working on his album um, and he realized that I had got the, the, the burning and the itching desire to, to get into music again. And he said, hey, why don't you come to Jamaica? Because um, he records his music, he was recording an album in Jamaica. I went out to Jamaica and recorded a song that had um, written during that transition period, one song that's called Move On. Um, so I went to Jamaica um, and recorded that song, Move On, along with um, the, the, the guys who he was working with, the names like Sly Dunbar, Robbie Lynn, Junior Jazz, um, Cat Core of Third World. Um, so I worked with a number of people during that process and that was really a process which I really enjoyed because I was able to um, to really work with guys who are really legends in, in the field of, of, of reggae music um, from inception. Um, from, from the Move On I recorded two songs from while I was in Jamaica. The first song being Move On and I also recorded another song that's called Oh Africa. And after I recorded um, that, I took a break. Um, those songs were the first two songs from that. And then I decided to, about seven, eight months after, to go back to Jamaica and complete the album. But actually, I did three of, three of the songs that were on that Move On album in Houston, Texas. Um, so I, the album was actually shared between Houston, Texas and um, Jamaica. Um, yeah, the song that I wrote with my dad, well, what I did with my dad is a song that's called We've Seen It All. Um, the story goes, I remember when I was just getting in to play cricket internationally, um, my dad wrote me a letter. Um, he said, to, uh, the essence of it was stay focused, stay humble. Um, always remember the same people who praise you today will be the same people to um, really, you know what I mean, or the same ones who criticize you are not have the greatest thing to say. So the, the, the essence of it was to stay balanced and stay humble. So when I decided to write my album and I wrote a song that's called We've Seen It All, I thought it would be a great thing to, to do that song with my dad, We've Seen It All, because it's really a song um, inspired by my years in sport. And I figured that his years in music over 30 odd, close to 40 years, he, he would have seen a lot as well. And um, I thought We've Seen It All would have been a great song for us to do together. So that's how that came about. Hmm. Um, I shouldn't say no, I don't think it's a coincidence, definitely not. Um, Gramps Morgan and Jamiri Morgan actually came to Anguilla to perform at a music festival, which is my dad's music festival, it's called Moon Splash. And um, I, I, I met Gramps Morgan and I met, met Jamiri and we became good, good friends from that time. Um, we communicate um, very often. And um, so there was always a bond between myself and the Morgan Heritage um, group. 
Um, we recently did a show about in 2014, we did a show in St. Martin together, myself, Morgan Heritage, High Octane and Alkaline. And um, someone who worked with them in management was there on the trip. He saw me perform um, and um, we actually started to work. We worked for a stint. And um, after that, he thought, it was, he thought it would be a good, great idea that myself and Peter Morgan um, did a tune. Um, and the song that I had written before was No Point to Prove. I was looking for a song to do a collaboration with. And um, when he mentioned Peter Morgan, I was really excited because um, Peter Morgan is somebody I've always admired in reggae music um, as a performer as well as a vocalist. Um, so I really jumped at that opportunity and he was happy to obviously to, to contribute as well. And I think um, I was really happy with the product at the end of the day. As I say, Peter Morgan is somebody who's got um, who's been around for, for over, over a decade and I've always respected. Jamiri Morgan now is, is somebody who's more or less a friend and somebody around my age group. And um, I thought it would be a great song that we can do together. Um, Run Around is a song, fun song about the ladies and the girls story. I guess myself and Jamiri can relate to that a lot more. And um, I thought it would be a great opportunity for us to do it. Jamiri being a friend and, and um, somebody who's a good vocalist as well. Um, jumped at the opportunity and said, hey, let's do this thing together. And it was, I'm really happy with that product as well. I've been a, a fan and um, a supporter of Mom and Hurt's music from inception. And it's really a great feeling to know that they welcome you within the fold. Um, they know when they come to Anguilla, they're at home. Um, and they've welcomed me with open arms when I'm here on the road. So a big maximum respect to the whole Morgan Heritage. Grams Morgan, as, as I said, been the first one that I knew from the group. Um, so maximum respect and love go to that whole, the whole family for really supporting um, what I'm doing. And I'm really recognizing and appreciating my time. Um, Unafraid. Unafraid is a song really that um, I'd say in, in but that was the first single from the album Move On and um, that, that song really blew up well in the region and in the Caribbean. It was actually the number one song on the music station Tempo, um, it, number one song of 2013. Um, that song within itself helped me to get a number of awards in Anguilla, songwriter of the year, album of the year, in uh, five of the six awards it was nominated for. Um, so. I'm really happy with that song, Unafraid. It's one that really connects. It's a lover's story as well. And um, the girls seem to really like every time I perform that song. Um, so yeah, they, I'm, I'm really, I really fell in love with that song, Unafraid. And um, I'm happy that it connects with a lot of people as well. How that song came about, I actually, well, a couple months ago, well, probably over a year ago, I was working in the studio in Jamaica with a gentleman by the name of Benji Myers. And um, he and Damien Knight, who was the producer of More Than Friends, was in the studio doing engineering with Benji Myers. And um, we, we kept in contact, because you know how it is with music, is always networking. Uh, he got back to Jamaica, he got back to Canada where he lives right now, and I was back in Anguilla. And he liked the vibe of the, what he had heard on the song. And he sent me over a track that he thought would, would do me well, uh, would, would fit what I was doing. He sent over the, over the rhythm. And um, it was something new for me because all the work that I had done in the past was um, I produced and arranged, etc. So when he sent the rhythm over, it was um, actually something really cool to, to do something different, um, to sing on a rhythm per se, because I've always done it a little bit differently. And um, I, I wanted to create a, a song that was um, had a, a, a nice, young, brighter appeal, uh, more than friends, a, a love story, a love song, and um, with a little bit of a, a modern reggae feel. And um, I think it connected really well because um, I went to, I just came from a promotional tour actually of Canada, and this song has been really well received over there. Um, back in the Caribbean, it's the music stations are hitting it up. It's already on the top ten countdowns, and this is only a couple of months that are gone right now. So I'm really happy how that song is going. Um, big respect to Damien Knight for that, um, and we're really excited about the prospects for 2015 and 16 as well because. Um, no point. Um, More than friends would be the, would be the first single that we release from probably the EP that we have coming out in the starting of next year. So we're really looking forward to 2016, and uh, More than friends is just a taste of what's to come. When you come on stage and you see Otto Marvin show, you'll see me playing the guitar, you'll see me singing, you'll see me playing the acoustic guitar, um, and um, I'll try to showcase all of those um, within my set. 
Um, I'm also big on in, uh, inspirational music, but I'm also big on and love and relationships as well. So you f you find a good mixture of um, inspirational stuff and conscious stuff as well. So it's as as Graham Smart would say, CTBC music. I'm, I'm it's cool to be conscious, and I'm all about that movement as well. And um, yeah, so come out to the performance, and um, when you're there, you're, you'll definitely be entertained. <laughs> There are a lot of plans right now. Actually, over the next couple of weeks, I'll be going on to the the Jamar cruise. Um, that'll be um, from Miami to Jamaica. So I'll be going on to that, checking out the vibes, um, as well as be looking to tour Europe next summer. Um, as I say, my new EP that'll be coming up. I'm looking forward to releasing that to the start of the year. And there are some other festivals around, not only just in the UK but around the world, um, New Zealand, etc. That I'm going to be looking to to get onto. So. It's exciting times. Um, I'm really excited about getting the music out there. Um, it's, this tour is my first tour with a major group like Mark and Heritage. So it's a really good experience. And from this one, um, the experience has been great. Been well received in London, well received in Berlin. Um, so right now it's really picking up steam and we're really excited about that. Well, definitely my social media information. Um, I'm easy to get in contact with. On Facebook, it's Omari Banks Music. On Instagram, it's Omari Banks 11, O M A R I B A N K S 11. On Twitter, it's Omari Banks 11 as well, O M A R I B A N K S 11. And my webpage is www.omaribanks.com. Happy that you're here and um, I look forward to getting some great footage. I'm excited to see the footage that you guys get. Thank you. You're welcome.